Good evening. We start tonight with an update on the breaking news out of St. Paul. Police shot and killed a man this afternoon after a 911 caller said they spotted a man wanted by law enforcement for murder. That man was Michael Stowers. Fox 9's Leon Purvis brings us the latest. Just after 1 p.m. on Saturday afternoon, St. Paul police say they got a 911 call that Michael Stowers was on a bike outside of a laundromat. So police responded with the intent to stop Stowers. St. Paul police have been looking for a murder suspect since late October. Saturday, a 911 caller said they spotted him. Officers in uniform and marked squad cars converged on his location. And they were doing this with the intent of stopping him into trying to determine if he was Michael Stowers or not. That man was eventually located on Bay Street and Watson Avenue. When they approached the man, he was armed with a handgun. Officers fired their service weapons and striking him. Meanwhile, neighbors who lived near Saturday's shooting were left stunned at what happened. It held right in front of our house here. I was at a birthday party and I got a call from my brother. Stowers had a warrant for allegedly killing his pregnant ex-wife and then carjacking and shooting a man in the leg minutes after the murder. No officers were injured in Saturday's shooting, but Cameron Crawl is concerned about the area and kids. It makes me stressed to be in a neighborhood where yeah. you're supposed to be in a safe area. It's stressful because my kids run around and play out here. The man who was shot by police died at the hospital, and although the caller called in saying that it was Michael Stowers, that hasn't been confirmed by St. Paul Police or the BCA. St. Paul Police say that body-worn cameras were activated and upwards of six officers are placed on administrative leave, and the BCA will be conducting this investigation. In St. Paul, Leon Purvis, Fox 9.